Hi, welcome to this short screencast in which we look at how to log in and use the basics within Blackboard. Notice that when you go to blackboard.itcarlo.ie, before you log in you have some useful links along the bottom in which you can access your email, timetables and a variety of other services. For students, you should use your student number and your initial PIN or your current password. It will be the same as what you use for accessing your email. So I'm going to log in as Joe Soap and when we've logged in the screen that loads shows us along the right hand side the courses that we're enrolled on as a student and we can access them, them directly. It also will show us any announcements that appear for these courses and these announcements will also appear together with any institutional announcement in the middle panel. Along the left hand side you can view all your announcements together. You can view your calendar if any of your lecturers use this feature. And indeed you can view your tasks. You have quick access to grades that are available from any of your courses. And you also can see some personal information. To go into a course, click on the title of the course here and we'll go into the Teaching and Learning Centre's Learning Support course in which all of you should be enrolled as students. This gives you a number of things along the menu on the left hand side including the home page that you see now which shows you your announcements. You can click on any announcement to load that individual announcement. So we have our announcement loaded up here and we can click here to follow for more information. We can scroll down through the various announcements and indeed watch a video um, in you, for, that's been embedded from YouTube including maximizing to view it full screen and if we go back to the home page we will also see as well as any new announcements that have appeared in the past week we'll also see under what's new any new content that has appeared so this will be the same for some of your other courses if the what's new feature is enabled you'll be able to see any content announcements quizzes etc that have been added within the past week and you can click directly to go to that item. So here we can see if you look at the crumb line here we are going to the turn it in section and we're looking at the item plagiarism declaration for turn it in submissions download from here. So if we click on turn it in this shows us the entire turn it in section which is really the same as clicking on the menu item over here on the left. So we can look at the different information that's available downloaded the PDF of the document. If we click on this it automatically downloads the PDF and we can see and scroll down through that PDF. So you can see the PDF that's been downloaded. When finished we can close it or we can just switch back to the other screen. Again we can watch the videos from here and if the video doesn't load directly on your browser it could be that it's blocked for security reasons so you could try switching to a different browser we generally recommend Firefox, uh, particularly if you're using Turnitin, but Internet Explorer and Chrome and indeed Safari on the Mac should all work. If it doesn't load for security reasons, you may be able to change your settings or in this case you can actually click directly here to go straight to YouTube to watch the video clip. Scrolling back up here, just to say that there's a whole section to help you with Blackboard on the left hand side as well as a section on helping you with referencing, uh, one on academic skills, learning styles, and the CAS Typing Tutor is a tutor that you can launch to learn a little bit more on typing. There are some contacts, including uh, the email address for me, uh, elearn at itcarlo, and that's it in terms of exploring a course. All of your courses should be set up somewhat similar with along the left hand side menu items that you can explore the course that you're taking. If we go back to home, we can again use the menus to go to any other course. Clicking on courses will give us something similar. It may give us some more detail around the courses, who's lecturing them and so on. And we can edit the list of courses by clicking on the Manage Course List Module Settings, the button in the corner. We can do that here as well under home. We can see the or we can modify the order in which the courses appear and which courses appear by clicking on this setting. A quick way to jump from one course to the other is to click on your name at the top right hand side. That will 
give you the recently visited courses and you can jump directly into any course that you're uh, that you're enrolled on as a student and that's it in terms of a basic introduction so welcome to blackboard